so you have the grays, you have hu- human like. What what else have you heard reports about from contactees? Yeah, this one is really interesting to me. Praying mantis mm-hmm. <laughs> ETs. And I know how that must sound to skeptics. And, you know, I, I can only apologize and say, sorry, <laughs> that this is what people are reporting. You can't ignore the evidence and people are reporting seeing figures that are very similar to the praying mantis insects we see on Earth in that they have, you know, triangular heads with large bulbous eyes, very skinny stick-like limbs. The only real difference is they're reported to be anywhere from, well, usually six to nine feet tall. Certainly taller than that in some cases. And in some cases shorter. I'm guessing they don't have like an exoskeleton. It's probably that would, in terms of like an insect, because an insect has an exoskeleton because they're small enough to support it. Yeah. The people I've talked to could not tell for sure, but they said, no, they don't think so. I mean, I'll I'll just run down some of the reports I have. One guy comes from Kevin Cannon, a Navy medic, who was pulled on board a craft, and it was fairly scary for him, as you might imagine, even though it was not in any way a negative experience. It was just very traumatic. And he saw these things, and he says, one walked up right to him, and he said, this thing was more than twice my height. He's slightly over, you know, he's like 6'2". And he said, this thing was 15 feet tall. And I started to second guess him a little bit. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> you know, how do you know that? And he's like, listen, it was more than twice my height. It was like looking up at a basketball hoop. This thing was almost three times my height. And I'm like, okay, what did you see? And he said, they were bone white in appearance, very long stick-like lens. They moved with jerky movements. They had huge triangular-shaped heads with eyes the size of, bigger than his head, because it was about basketball size. They oozed intelligence. He ended up having a fairly long telepathic, which is usually the case, conversation with them. And Did they have antennae, like insects? No. Nope. Okay. That's No, no one's reported antenna, not to me. I think probably there are a few accounts out there. But his was, a. I liked his report because he's a Navy medic. You know, this is someone who's got military training. He's a trained observer, knows his aircraft. And he. Get, I interviewed him a number of times. I put him on the radio. He went on a couple of TV shows and never did his story change. He would add a few details here and there, certainly, as people do. Yeah, he was a good witness and described very much what other people have seen, except in his case, these guys were very tall. There was another lady I talked to who headed a UFO group. And I'm like, whoa, you know, why do you head this UFO? You know, I spoke there. This was in Thousand Oaks, California, I think. It's like, oh, I've had contact. I'm like, oh, I would love to interview you. And she described these same praying mantis beings who she walked into her bathroom one evening and there they were. Scared the living daylights out of her. It was not a pleasant experience by any means. And she said they were six feet tall and not grays, praying mantis, almost grasshopper-like, she said. Did not get a great description of it because she was so so darn scared. One lady, one of my favorite cases ever, was a teacher from O'Fallon, Illinois, who in 2006 was jogging with her dog outside her home. This is a rural area, and she wakes up at 4.30 a.m. to go jogging, and her dog stops on the road. This is, I think, Kyle Road was the road that T intersectioned in front of her. I actually located the exact spot you know, on Google Maps and verified all the details she described, which was important to me, a streetlight, because it's figured in her story. She looks up, and about 100 feet away, was a figure walking down the middle of the road. It's a, it's a rural road, right? No cars at 4.30 a.m. And her dog's watching it too, so she knows she's not losing her mind. And she thought it was a man on stilts with extenders on his arms at first glance until it walked under the street light, and it reached almost to the top of the street light. So she has a fairly good way of measuring its height, which she says was close to 15 feet tall. 
she contacted me after re reading Kevin Kamen's account. And she's a teacher. She gave a very lucid interview, both written and oral. And she said it was mottled green in appearance, but gave the same description. Very, very slender body, extremely tall, you know, long stick-like legs, which were at least six feet strides, little arms that kind of hook up like the praying mantis do, almost like a, a begging dog, if you will, and did not see her, <laughs> apparently, and just kept walking down the street. And she ran after it after it went by. I was kind of surprised to hear her say that. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> she says, well, yeah, I was curious, she said. I'm like, okay. And she watched it and it turned off into a cornfield. And I asked her, you know, why? Why there? Why do you think? She's like, I have no idea. There's nothing there. There's a school, a cornfield. So the only thing I can think of is that we're not too far from Scott Air Force Base, which I thought, oh, you know, hmm. Because they are implicated in a few UFO reports to a degree. But that's the praying mantis. We've got a number of reports like that of uh, these praying mantis type beings and, and is this orion similar similar location or no information no information on where these guys come from but they're sometimes seen in conjunction with grays and human looking in some cases yeah i've got many reports of these guys this is a common type it's in the, in, again about 10 percent i'm going to say 70 for, 60 to 70 grays, 10 to 15 human looking and praying mantis in another catch all category. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. Additionally, if you have any feedback, please put something in the comments below. And lastly, if you want to watch the full episode of this clip, you can find it above. Thanks again for watching.